whether planned or unexpected, can be one of the most exciting times of a woman's life, but also one of the most anxious. In addition to physical problems and discomforts, she'll go through a lot of emotional changes and will have a wide range of challenges over the next nine months, thinking about her growing baby and how to care for him or her. In early pregnancy, she may notice any one of the following general symptoms, nausea or vomiting, unusual tiredness, soreness in the breasts, frequent urination, About six to 10 days after fertilization, the egg travels to the uterus and burrow into the uterine wall, endometria, which serves as the source of oxygen and nutrients. About four weeks from the beginning of the last period, near the next period, the blastocyst has begun to produce the pregnancy hormone to tell your ovaries to stop releasing eggs. From then on, the menstrual cycle pauses. The blastocyst is called an embryo now. Home pregnancy test might be able to get a positive result. At week five, the circulatory system, brain, and spinal cord are beginning to form. And the tiny heart will start to beat. The baby's heart beats about 54 million times before birth. The placenta provides oxygen and nutrients to the growing baby and removes waste products from the baby's blood via the umbilical cord. The nose, mouth, and ears are starting to shape at week six. At weeks seven and eight, the embryo has doubled in size since last week's. Little hands and feet start to grow. At week 9 to 12 of pregnancy, the embryo is called a fetus. The baby is almost fully formed and has completed the most critical portions. The facial features are more recognizable. The fetus's head is rotated and bent towards the chest, and he can occasionally touch his face. The diaphragm muscles start to grow. The reproductive, circulatory, and urinary systems are all at an advanced stage of development. The fetus will urinate in the amniotic sac. It is a sign of the proper functioning of the fetus's body. If the baby is a girl, her ovaries contain millions of eggs. If the fetus is a boy, his testicles will already start producing testosterone, male sex hormone which is necessary for the development of his reproductive system. She or he is about five centimeters in size and 14 grams in weight. The level of HCG, pregnancy hormone, reaches its highest level at nine months. So the mother may experience the discomfort of the previous weeks with more intensity. But from week nine onwards, the level of this hormone will be fixed and many annoying symptoms, like morning sickness and fatigue, have faded away gradually. By now, the mom has noticed changes in her own body. Her uterus will have increased in size and fill her pelvis. They might be feeling well enough now to enjoy their meals and maybe put on a little weight. <laughs>